guys, Mark here, gonna do a quick review of my DaVinci 1.0 uh, by XYZ Printing. Today is April 3rd, 2013. Pre-ordered this about a month ago and it finally has came in. We'll do a quick uh, outside walk around what the machine looks like. Um, we'll walk around to the side, kind of look. But there's a, it's a hard plastic, it's a hard plastic shell um, and sheet metal construction. There is on one side, there's a USB host plug, a power power switch, and a standard uh, plug. Walking around, look at it really quick. Um, it, it's a semi-enclosed system. There is some of the handles. There is a um, little bit of air passage there, as well as so there's some air passage on top. So it's not fully enclosed. Um, one thing I did uh, like what they did was the uh, XYZ includes these little plastic inserts so there are handles here so if you really want to grab into it it's not that heavy um, but there is a nice handle so if you do want to move it around that was a good 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 thinking on their half but um, you can open the door up while it's printing and look how it's doing we'll start on the right hand side in the far back um, it's a standard XYZ um, configuration with the XY uh, being uh, the print head moving in the back there is a, looks like a, a NEMA 17 motor um, going to a pulley and there's two, two, dr two driving bars with pulleys to move the carriage forwards and backwards. On the side, looks very similar to a, a solid doodle or a maker bot. Um, it's an ex it's a, uh, injection molded plastic side. Um, do like, they do have optical end stops on all, on all axes. So, we'll go to the other side, just basically without it. Um, it is nice too. You can see there's springs up here, so it keeps a, a pretty good tension on the belt. Belt feels pretty, pretty tight. The hot end, um, it's a sheet metal construction as well. Maybe you can get over there and see it. Um, but there's a fan on the back side. Uh, there is a, I don't think it's a thermistor, I think it's a thermocouple. Um, to measure the temperature and uh, there is a heat cartridge built into it and a large piece of brass um, I would assume um, that's going into it the nozzle looks like it's built into the brass piece um, and what's cool too is if you see to the left of the extruder see like a little nipple that's for the automatic bed calibration I'll show another video about that but that's a really cool feature of this printer um, but if we can get really in close quickly, we can see um, the, I'm printing the standard twisted bottle. You can find it um, on on Thingiverse. It's a it's a very commonly commercial. It's a very common uh, printed commercial demo piece. Um, you can find it just as twisted bottle on Thingiverse. Um, but looking at the print, the print's not turning out too bad. I'm printing at 0.1 millimeter height at the standard speed. Um, not super quick, but does pr print very nice. The bottom is a little bit of bubbling, um, but but moving up maybe maybe five millimeters from the bottom, uh, the print really smooths out and looks nice, um, better than any other pictures I've seen. So definitely a plus. Um, looking at the bed, um, it's a it's a glass bed with uh, it doesn't look like there's heated PCB board. It looks like there's more like a piece of uh, resistor with capped on underneath it. And they're a little bit thicker. You can see that they're not as thin as, as a printed PCB board. But also, I guess we can go to the back as well. Kind of can look over there. Um, really nice feature that XYZ put into this machine. Um, they have a place that you can put your, or that actually wipes and cleans um, for filament. This is going to be a great addition when you have a dual extruder um, with a 2.0 comes out in a couple months. Um, but it can wipe its, its own filament head so you don't have to keep on pulling it off. Um, I've ran two parts on it already, and both have been able to clean up their nozzle. Um, let's see where else we can go. Kind of can look up. Um, the harnesses look pretty good. You know, I'm not. They did, they did a decent job building the harnesses. Um, the only one I don't like that you might need to look at is that there's this blue wire that kind of hangs down here. It was resting against here. It's not that big of a deal, but they need to figure out a way to tape or glue it onto the back so we're velcroed together. 
Um, but that wire goes over to your automatic bed leveler. So maybe that's not like a last minute thing they did. And they kind of just said, oh, okay, we'll just make this work. Um, I don't know what else. So printer is going really well. Um, I opened the back already. I can show another picture of that. Um, but the electronics look like uh, they're running an, an Atmel ARM chip. There's a four gigabytes SD card built into it. So it's nice that you actually send the job to the printer and the computer <laughs> not plugged in. This is all running off SD card built in. So if you're you're not you're not having the computer being able to drive it. And the prints, you know, coming out really good. I'm gonna show a final picture of it. But overall I'm really impressed for a sub five hundred dollar printer. And let's just see what it can do. I'm gonna post some more videos of maybe the the wiping sequence and the cleaning sequence uh, in the future. Uh, Ask questions at the bottom and I'll uh, try to address them as I can. Thanks guys.